will arise, you know, from a knee press pass, a fair way to do it. But Ben is here and I'm kind of under hooking, so he says, well, I'm going to back step. Right? And as he goes to back step, his whole idea is I want to get way above you, sit down, and then I step my leg like so. Right? We're going to a lot in the leg lock class. I mean, you're following this and not, not to mention you guys are pretty familiar with this stuff here. Okay? I'll talk about this position in a minute, but let's talk about if there's a thing that I can do a bit earlier, right? So when Ben steps, the first thing, if you notice this leg, the one that would be kind of the knee bar E, is just gonna creep behind his foot over here, right? Very, very simple. At the same time, I need to block his knee with my forearm, usually pretty easy, right? And as Ben steps here, I can actually elevate his leg up and then pass it over this foot. Most likely, Ben won't get swept by this, right? Why? Because he's got his hands, yeah? But if he's putting his hands on the mat, is he passing my guard? Probably not, right? There are some passes where you can put your hands on the mat and pass the guard, but not very many. So if we get to this spot, Ben takes his step. I need my hook here. Pull on his hip just a little bit to make sure he really steps, right? I trade it here and I start to push, but then starts to turn toward me. I make a little bit of room. And I'm in my guard. Ben is not barring me, Ben is not healing for me, and finally Ben is not passing my guard in this particular moment. So at least I bought myself some time there. Does that all make sense, folks? I hope so. Okay, let's try that out for just a couple of minutes. Make sure we can get that hook. I'll double check everybody. Once we're on that page, we'll be able to move on a little bit, okay?